All right, so we're talking about giving your kids the educational experience of a lifetime. It's one of those programs where we all look and say, why wasn't this around when I was a kid, right? It's a nonprofit organization founded by teachers that lets you and your little ones see the world. So Daniel is joining us. He is the co-founder and executive director of the Sprout Experience. And Akini is not only a proud parent, but turned into one of the board members now for this. Daniel, I'm going to start with you by just asking, for those who don't know about the Sprout Experience, what is it? Well, we're an immersive education nonprofit. So we do programs that immerse kids in whatever it is that we're doing from music programs all the way to international travel um, around the world. Why did you find there was such a need for this? Well, um, my co-founder, um, my co-founder Julie Milky and I um, were on a program with students um, with another company and we saw such amazing results. We saw a man teaching about volcanoes with a volcano caldera in the background. Yeah. And instead of the book, he's saying, notice the mudslide here. And this was some recent activity. And one of the students said, I learned more about volcanoes in 10 minutes than I learned an entire year at school. Um, so Julie and I looked at each other and said, we need to do this for kids and families. And we also said we can do it even better, which we are. Which, which you are. And so <laughs> how did you, I mean, clearly you had heard about them, but what made you want to get involved? You know, it's a program for kids, you know, and it's, um, based here in Northeast Ohio and um, my family we were interested we love to travel mm -hmm. but what really attracted us to the program was that it's they're educators who love teaching children and it's an immersive program in travel and education and um, it's a small cohesive group um, it's not a slideshow of visiting several countries and you know a short amount of days but it's a really thoughtful well-planned um, um, excursion where kids learn through travel and it's exciting and um, they really get to learn a lot about themselves and other cultures and be independent. I mean this is just amazing. So you think um, like you're, you're going away when you're in college and you're going right. to study abroad. It's kind of the same thing but this is kids 14. Right. You have to be at least 14. Do you have a cap to the age range? Again, we're a small nonprofit from Northeast Ohio, and we can do whatever we want as far as who gets to go. <laughs> so the general idea is high school okay. for, for the international programs. We have other programs for younger kids. Yeah. But, but, you know, maybe a kid is more mature and ready to go when we meet them and their families. Or maybe we, do, we have college interns that come back and work with us. So first, second year of college, they may be there as well. Um, but mostly the target is that high school. Well, That's I was looking at the list. I mean, you Trinidad and Tobago was on the list that I saw. Mm -hmm. right. Then there's Florida. Then there's Thailand. But you have horse camps and you have That's camp right. outs. So it's such a wide range. Now, I know that, you know, if a kid's watching, your parents are watching, they think, I don't know if I can afford to have my kid be a part of this. You really work with different avenues to try to make it possible and open to all students. Yeah, we always have some scholarship available if a family needs that. Um, we also have... Um, ways that kids can creatively raise funds on their own. We give suggestions. We've had kids that have saved for years on their own on their, on their part-time job so they could go. Um, we know that it's difficult. We don't, we don't think people can just come up with money at any time. We wish we could do it all right. for free. Um, but we found that if people really are determined to go, they, they can usually make it happen. So if they contact us and want to talk about it, um, we could figure out how to make it happen. So the SproutExperience.org is the website to find out more. And then, hey, the next trip that you have coming up, this is an incredible one, Kenya. Yeah. So you're going to be going to Kenya. Um, and can students still get on board this one? Or we is have it full? one spot left. One <laughs> spot left. Here's the great thing, too. You're working with at least one school. So right. if, what if there's a school district that wants to get involved with this? This is what we've been trying to do as well, um, really find a school district that wants to run a custom program. We can make any program they need. We could even do it in a different country that's not already on our list. Um, and we can make it to their academic goals, to their student goals. We're working currently with uh, Hawken is running programs with us. Very amazing. Um, and, and we're going forward with that. All right. Well, it's so nice to meet you both. Thank you so much Thank for coming so much. and Thank continuing, you. hopefully, much success for you. And we are back after the show.